In today's episode, we list some of the best natural pesticides that are approved by the USDA for organic farming and organic gardening. We'll also learn how to use these correctly to get rid of all types of pests in your garden. Coming up. Pesticides approved in organic farming are largely the natural ones, though a limited amount of synthetic substances are permitted. Let's list these synthetic and natural pesticides used in organic farming and learn how to use them one by one. Please watch it till the end. On number 1. Boric Acid and Borax This powder is commonly used to play carom and has many uses in gardening. It's mainly used to treat soil pests and insects like millipedes and also for ant control. Just sprinkle the boric acid or borax powder over the areas of infestation and do not water for at least 24 hours. It acts as a contact poison and also as a stomach poison when the pests ingest this powder. On number 2. Copper Sulfate This is used both as a fertilizer as well as a fungicide. As an antifungal, it can be used in the prevention and treatment of fungal diseases like the powdery mildew, leaf rust, black spot rose disease and many other serious fungal disease. This is the most effective antifungal in organic gardening. How to use it? Mix 20 grams of copper sulfate into 1 liter of water in a spray bottle and spray it on the affected plant. You can repeat this process after one week. Prepare only the required solution for the day and do not store it for the next use. On number 3. Trichoderma viridae. This is a certified biofungicide and is normally present in the soil which controls other pathogenic fungi and prevents root rot and other harmful soil fungi. So this can be used in the treatment of soil fungi, root rot, damping off in seedlings and also to treat fungus affected seeds or to prevent fungal infestation of the seeds. So how to use it? For preventing canker and stem rot after pruning, make a solution by adding about 10 grams in 100 ml of water and apply this on the injured stem after pruning to prevent fungal disease. To prevent seed fungus, add about 10 grams powder to 1 kilogram of seeds and mix well. For plants that are wilting and you suspect a fungal disease in the soil or root rot, mix about 10 grams per litre of water and drench the plant and the soil. Repeat after a week if necessary. To mix it in your potting mix, add about 10 grams to potting mix volume of about 12 inch container and then repot your plant. This is particularly beneficial when you transplant your seedlings into a fresh potting mix. On number 4. Baking Soda this is pure sodium bicarbonate which is mainly used for cooking purpose and readily available in your kitchen. To use it as a fungicide, you can mix about 2-3 to three teaspoons of baking soda in 1 litre of water and mix it well and then spray on the affected parts. If you want to make it more effective and a universal pesticide, you can add 1 teaspoon of oil like neem oil to this solution plus some 10 drops of liquid soap and spray it on the plant. You can also use any vegetable oil but best is neem oil and also you can use clove oil or even eucalyptus oil. Repeat this spray every week till your problem is solved. Apart from this, there are about 10 uses of baking soda in gardening. You can watch a detailed episode on this from a link in the description below. On number 5. Diatomaceous Earth This magical organic powder has many uses in gardening like ant control, slugs and snail control, preventing animal and rodents in your garden and mainly as an organic pesticide effective against all types of pests like aphids, mites, thrips, mealybugs, caterpillars and even soil pests and insects. The mechanism of action is it's a contact poison which kills the pests by extreme dehydration. You can watch a detailed episode on this from a link in the description below. So how to use diatomaceous earth on plants? First of all, water your plants for the day. Then dust the plants with an applicator or just sprinkle the powder on your plants. To avoid killing beneficial pollinators like the honeybees and butterflies, do not sprinkle on flowers. On number 6. Hydrogen Peroxide Though it's a chemical with formula of H2O2 which is similar to that of water but with an extra oxygen atom, this concept is the key for using hydrogen peroxide in gardening. Well. 
To use it as an effective pesticide and antifungal, add 1 cup that's about 250 ml of 6% hydrogen peroxide per liter of water or 2 cups of 3% hydrogen peroxide per liter of water. Load it in a spray bottle and spray on the plants. To control fungus gnats and soil pests, you can water the plant with the same solution. Apart from this, hydrogen peroxide has many other miraculous uses like to save a dying plant, as a fertilizer and many other beneficial uses. You can watch a detailed episode on the 10 miracles of hydrogen peroxide in gardening from a link in the description below. On number 7, Vinegar. This is chemically acetic acid. It's an inexpensive product and found in most kitchens. In gardening, we use 5% white vinegar or the distilled white vinegar. For the treatment of powdery mildew or the spot fungus, add 1 cup of white vinegar to 1 litre of water and shake it well and then spray it on the affected leaves. To use it as a pesticide, add 1 cup of white vinegar to 1 litre of water and then add some 10 drops of liquid soap and spray on the affected plants. You can watch a detailed episode on the 10 gardening uses of vinegar from a link in the description. On number 8, Neem Oil. Neem oil is by far the best organic pesticide available worldwide. Azadiractin and nimbin found in neem oil are the two major compounds responsible for its antibacterial and antifungal actions. It is in fact a broad spectrum pesticide and the safest and the most effective of all organic or natural pesticides. To learn about how to use it, the dosage and the patch test, please watch a detailed episode on neem oil from this end screen link circled right here. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!